What's up everybody, Ultimate Reviews here and welcome back for another video. So we're here again at the Sony press conference at IFA Berlin where they unveiled uh, three new uh, devices. One of them is which I have here, the Sony Xperia Z3 uh, tablet. Now this is an 8 inch 1080p device um, and it just looks and feels really great. It measures in at 6.4 millimeters thin. So this is actually the world's thinnest uh, waterproof, uh, also I forgot to mention, it is waterproof. So it's now the official world's thin, uh, thinnest waterproof tablet and of course claimed by Sony. So uh, if we take a look at the bezels as, you know, that's really been popular at the Sony press conference this year. Bezels have been really brought up quite a lot. So this looks like around four millimeters thick uh, when you put that into comp uh, comparison, the Sony Xperia Z3 uh, has bezels 2mm thick and the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact has bezels uh, around 3mm thick. So, you know, this is a bit on the thick side, but it still looks really great. And the screen uh, brightness really compensates. It just stands out so much. And Sony have done a great job this year with all of the displays on their devices from, you know, the really top of the range flagship device such as the Xperia Z3 all the way through to uh, the Xperia E3 which is actually their mid-range device and uh, also the Z3 Compact. So inside this device you'll find a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor uh, clocked at 2.5 gigahertz and an Adreno 330 GPU. It will also be running on 3 gigabytes of RAM which actually came as a surprise to me uh, seems like they, they've uh, picked up that 3 gig of RAM trend, which was uh, quite popular. So it's all inside there, and it's just mind, you know, it's mind blowing that they're able to fit such technology into 6.4 millimeters. You know, that is incredible. So if we take a quick look around the device, uh, you find, so, uh, find Sony's proprietary uh, connector over there, which, you know, probably connects to all of their accessories. And right beneath it, you find the slot for the micro SD card slot, which can actually store up to 128 gigabyte. So that is perfect. So, you know, if you're planning on using this to store, uh, for example, photos and movies. So if we head over to the bottom, you'll also find, I presume that is another charging port uh, right in the corner there. And then if we head over to the right hand side, you'll find the volume up and down rocker alongside with the power button. And then in the top right hand corner, we've also got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And again, because this device is so thin, like the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack kind of just kind of sticks out just a bit, just a bit. And then at the top, we have nothing. But, you know, this device, this tablet is incredible. I'm doing a really tough job trying to focus the camera and you know look at this device so at the front well let's head over to the back first actually at the back we have an 8.1 megapixel rear facing camera which is able to shoot a 1080p video uh, Sony couldn't include the 4k 4k uh, videoing capabilities unfortunately and then if we head over to the front of the device right there you'll find the 2.2 megapixel front facing camera which also has the ability to shoot 1080p video. So this tablet also has the IP68 certification which makes it waterproof and dust resistant you know hence why it is the compact version because it can really survive those hardcore moments where you know you could really jump in the pool with this and you know I have to mention I really do like the back design they've used uh, the material I apologize um, it feels really nice definitely something I've never seen on a tablet before and Sony always managed to kind of just make their products feel really really premium uh, it has very nice metal finished uh, edges uh, with the t you guys might not be able to see it but it has these really nice chrome finish on kind of all the edges feels really nice looks really nice it's super thin uh, the screen is incredible. Again, Sony have done a great job across all of their devices uh, this time around in including some really nice resolutions on their display. The pixel density isn't that high, it's only around 230, yet it still looks absolutely incredible. So this has pretty much been it guys. This is the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. Again, I apologize for um, the noisy background. It's really hard, it's like super busy here. 
so I'm kind of just using my Zoom H1 and uh, talking right into it. So I apologize for all of the sharp P's, you know, the, all the p p p So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, make sure to subscribe. I will be bringing you guys a whole bunch more coverage from EFA Berlin. Um, I really can't wait to get my hands on some of the Samsung devices. I have heard that they've done a really great job across the uh, Note series in continuing the Note 4. So yeah, I will be bringing some coverage of that and a whole bunch of other manufacturers. Um, so make sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Peace.